I am super excited. I got a new handbag and uh, you can see where it's from. So I am going to do a quick unboxing for you all. Uh, yeah, so I got this the other day and I have not opened it up since uh, they packaged it for me. And it was packaged very quickly. So this is uh, what it looks like, what the wrapping looks like. And then it has the, uh, the receipt information in here. here. And a nice sturdy bag. So we're gonna put that in there. And then let me find something to sit this up on. I'll be right back. So this was a, a bit of a kind of impulse buy. I went in just to see if they had this particular bag. It is very, very new. I think it's still on early access. And when I went in, when I went in, I was told that there was only one that just came on the shipment. So, uh, this is the packaging and it's just empty on the inside. So I'm going to close this up here. All right. And we're going to go ahead and open her up. Let's see. And this is the bag. Do a little close up for you. That's the back. The other side. And then I'm just gonna go through everything with it. So as you can see, there is quite a bit of a shedder around the keta, however you pronounce it. There, it has this front flap and this is called the Louis Vuitton vibe. It is new, but I think it's like a remake of an old bag, a sete bag or something. Um, but here we go. So I'm just going to start off by what you see here. So it is a flap here and it has two magnetic closures here. And in here, you can see it's the beautiful, I believe this is like a burgundy brownish color here. And there's still paper here and they don't have any monogram or Louis Vuitton here, but it's still a nice bag. And on the inside, it is still monogram inside the pocket there. And the pocket is pretty deep. And you could hear that snap closure. On the back, I really did like the fact that it had a pocket here and it is big enough for a phone and I'll do uh, what fits inside the bag in a second. So when you open it up, they have a crossbody strap here and you get a second strap, a shoulder strap here. So that's that. And on the inside, there is, oh, there is a pocket. Okay, I didn't notice that when I opened it up. It is a pretty big size opening. It may not look like it, but it is. And then you have the information in a pocket here. So this will be another good place to put your um, phone on the inside as well. And here is the information here and the uh, product code is M46999 and it is the Vibe Monogram. So I did not try it on with the shoulder strap because I'm not really a shoulder strap person, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and kind of see how it looks on the arm there. And I do like it. It fits very nicely underneath the arm there. It's very comfortable. And we know when we get an extra strap, we can always put this on other bags. So just taking a look at it here. So that's that with this on there.
and none of this really has the plastic on it like oh yes it does on the strap it does here so you have some of the plastic there covering it but like on the zipper part there's not anything covering it there so right now i have it on the longest strap on the longest length but it has one two three four five six seven eight nine different slots here or holes there it's a pretty substantial i mean it's thin but it it has a good weight to it so let's take a look here oh wrong thing <laughs> putting it on the zipper has a d-ring so you can uh put different straps on here if you already have something else you like and i didn't show this but it does have the louis vuitton here i don't think i don't know if you could see that but it is there okay everything on it looks straight to me and then there's the little plastic still on there so i'm gonna put it on this is the longest length and this fits really good i'm five six and i'm about a size 14 um 16 kind of depending but a 14 we'll say that and it fits right here and it's a good fit for me just like an everyday what i was looking for was an everyday run around purse um that didn't stick out too much and this hugs the body really nicely here it doesn't protrude out too much my arm can kind of rest there i love wearing the buckle part in the front I just think it adds a little extra to it so this is the purse and now i'm going to show you what all fits in i'll be right back i had to run to my car to get some stuff so uh thank y'all for sticking around with me so this purse and I'll try to put the dimensions and everything. I did a short on it and it has the dimensions there, but this is a pretty substantial, um, I mean, it's long ways. I believe it aligns with the uh, East West kind of collection, but I really do like it. The reason why I purchased this or why I picked it to be purchased was because I wanted an everyday run around town purse, just like on the weekends, and I also have some sandals that match it. And um, this will make just a great, easy, everyday carry bag, carefree bag for me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on what fits in. So this is my all time favorite Louis Vuitton piece that I have. Uh, it is the large monogram. I wanted the smaller one, but this is what was picked out for me but i do i love 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 this zippy coin purse but i have my cards in here my cash just everything and i am going to sit this in here and i normally sit it this way just so that it has room uh so that's that in there i also Keep my key fob here, six key ring, key, key ring holder. And I put that in that way. And I probably, no, I couldn't double it. I was gonna say if I doubled it, maybe kind of stretch it out of shape a little bit. So no, I won't do that. But here, and then I have my handy dandy agenda here. And I did purchase the agenda holder there. I do not use this very much. I do everything on my phone or computerized, but I really do. I still really love this. And around the holidays, I put gift cards in here, so I'll carry them with me. And I'm going to just sit this in the... Oh, maybe not. Hold on, y'all. Let me see. All right, I think it got caught on my button. So that's in there. So I do have a little more room here, but the front pockets I thought would fit my uh, AirPods really nicely. And it does, you heard that close and it still looks good. Like that's the AirPods in there and it's not protruding out or anything any more than the other side. Like, yeah, that's closed there. 
Okay. So I do carry this bag all the time. This is my makeup bag. This is the toiletry 15. And if I didn't, I, like, I know I'm not going to try to jam this in there. This will not fit. But when you go to the Louis Vuitton store, they will allow you to, like, put things in here. So if you want to make sure everything fits. So I would go ahead and take my hand lotion out and just stick that in the corner there. And my all-time favorite lip is uh, it's still a, the... What is that? Um, Palarimo here. And that stands up perfectly in there. So, and then maybe just like a compact mirror I could put in here. Or if you have a compact, I think a, even just a regular compact would fit really nicely in there. It still has room. Let me show y'all. So it still has quite a bit of room, even for your AirPods, like a chapstick or something. Even a lip gloss will go there. In here, there's still a lot of room. So I will just close that up. Make sure, there you go. And you can hear that magnetic closure, like it's, it's not playing. Um, so that's how everything looks in there. And I'm gonna try to zip it and it zipped it's not really pulling i don't it is a little bit kind of not it's not pulling but you can see where something is in there and then a phone would still fit in the back pocket so you hear that zipper like butter and then i'm just going to put it back on and move this out of the way and it's still not sticking out a lot. It's good. Here, it feels good on. It's lightweight. These handbags are extremely lightweight when there's nothing in them. So when you add things to it, it does, it's not a lot heavy. Well, just what you add to it is heavy. But I tried to place a lot of things in here. However, the reality is on a Saturday when I'm just ripping and running around, I'm not gonna put all of that in here. So I'm gonna just show you what I would put in here. So like for example, the compact would not be in here. I don't, I don't be looking at myself like that uh, when I'm running, ripping and running. Uh, so here I would not put this in either. What I would do with this, I would just take my key fob out of here because there's nothing else in here that I need. There, the other keys in here is not anything that I need. And I would just stick that in there in the front. So I still have all of this room here. And I don't like necessarily putting like makeup things in here within my purses unprotected that's why i always use this um so what i would do i was going to check and see this is a, a pochette uh from my loop hobo bag and i was just going to see if it fit in here and it let's see okay no it'll fit no it won't fit okay it will not fit in here but my purse this is still open all i really need is my wallet and if you have like a key a uh, card holder just put your card in here and keep it moving or in the pocket you don't have to put a wallet in here but i typically like to take my wallet and then so i had to go borrow someone's phone because i'm filming on my phone um, yeah, this is my son. Yeah, I know what this is. That's my son's phone. But anyway, I wanted to go ahead and just slip it in the back. And this is just a regular iPhone. I don't know, 12, I think. And it fits pretty good. Now, if you had a Max, a bigger phone, it probably will stick out. But you still have that pocket on the inside. So that's it. And I must say, I really, really like this purse. Um, you have a few days if you, you know, have... You think about it, you don't want it, but 
Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna keep it. I don't know. I'm gonna do a comparison of another handbag that after I got this, I thought maybe like, am I buying too much of the same kind of purse? But anyway, here is the purse. Y'all like it? I really like it. 